<laughs> okay, um, this is going to be a buzzkill reference that no one's going to get it, but one time I did a birthday present uh, voice. I did a fruit basket um, for the voice where two characters who were best buddies um, did something that was incredibly misconstrued, and I had to do the lines, and it, it sounded like they were, um, and, and <laughs> <laughs> it's all going to be those lines. <laughs> you see, when a man loves a woman, I mean a man. <laughs> and uh, I, I recorded the line, and then at the end, this was back when I was living at home, where my mom was. She walked in and went, I hope it was worth it because it really made me embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't. Sorry, Mom. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, did, uh, I, I was lucky enough to do the voice of Tatsu, the bald-headed guy, who is a real badass martial artist and um, a, a very capable actor and a very strong personality. Uh, they brought me in because they wanted to clean up his voice a little bit. They thought it might be a little heavily accented for the American market. So I'm in the studio uh, with the director, and we're, uh, we've done the 10 or 12 lines, and there's a little click over the intercom, and we'll look back and behind us in the control room, there's like three identical Hong Kong suits lined up. And the leader says, Excuse, please, could you make him sound more uh, oriental? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's American. So we do. So then, Tatsu comes out to be one of the most outrageously disrespectful Japanese impressions of anything ever on the street. Never lure your eyes to an enemy. <laughs> Fine. It gets worse. Go to a screening for the film. It's over at the Warner's lot, and everyone's coming in, and I mean, all the guys do the voice for the turtles, and all the people on camera, and everyone. It's really great, and, and there's the actor who... Uh, did talk to and we're, we're sitting there and they start rolling the film and the scene comes up and he heard the first word come out of his mouth and it wasn't his voice. He didn't know. And he, he had no clue. <laughs> and he just got suddenly those little lumps you see on the side of a bulldog when it's ready to tear your leg off. <laughs> I did not introduce myself. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Actually, had the same thing happen on a different film. It was a, a lower budget film where a, a lady had a <coughs> very strong Russian accent, could not understand words. And I had to replace her entire performance, uh, which I did. Uh, very difficult, by the way, because of the way her mouth moved. It was a live action thing, and it was very hard to try to make it fit. But it did, and we went to the screening, and nobody told her either, and snuck out the back. <laughs> because I figured, oh man, there's going to be a cat fight. <laughs> and while that would be very much fun for the producers, I don't think I want to be involved. Uh, there was one other time, which is a little bit more like your story, where I was, uh, we do a lot of, in fact, okay, we're hanging on to the question. We did do a lot of background voices for things. It's not always anime. Live action films come in. And because of production sound being bad, or it's a period piece and a plane flew overhead, or whatever, we often have to replace entire scenes, including the background sound. And this happened to be a scene that took place in a brothel. <laughs> and there's a door, and behind the door, business is being transacted. <laughs> And they say, okay, this is what happens in what they call a wallet session. They point to two people, you, you, okay, you, you are the two people in the other room, uh, you know, the, 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 the broad and the jaw. Uh, improv. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one of the things that you do, by the way, is... <gasps> you know, you're actually chewing on your hand. <gasps> And then he gets in. <laughs> and all of a sudden, my friend, who by the way was a guy who 
Show and he's also doing voices, and he and I are looking at each other, right? We're doing this thing and trying to keep a straight face. And so I can't just look at him. I'm doing this thing, he's doing his thing in his microphone, and all of a sudden there's a pause from him, and I hear, "Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy?" <laughs> That's it. Nobody, nobody got a stitch of work done. We had to call a break for 20 minutes. So <laughs> a lot. We would just be doing whatever and we'd be doing a crowd scene in another film and all of a sudden in the background you just hear quietly, who's your daddy, who's your daddy? <laughs> this is what I mean about it kind of ruins uh, the business when you've been in the business. You will start doing things like going to films and listening to what the background people are saying because incredible things come out in the course of that, including who's your daddy, who's your daddy.